Hello, Gary Simon, designcourse.com here, and today is January 8th, and we're going to be continuing on our squeeze page design from yesterday for the fictitious paperclip company. So basically, we're going to finish everything for that squeeze page mock-up in Adobe Photoshop CC. And obviously, if you're watching this video, you already have the project file, so nothing really to mention there. But just a quick note, check out designcourse.com if you haven't already. And please try to like us, follow us on the different social networks which are linked in the description of the YouTube video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is take this paperclip layer, which is for me is layer one, and just delete it. I think it looks silly. Uh, then I want to take rectangle one, hit control T, hold shift, and scale this up. Now down here, I'm just going to have uh, an area of three different features. So I, uh, and then beneath that, there will be like two testimonials and that will be it. So the first thing I want to do is take the rectangle tool and those three features will be kind of in this container, a real light gray container. So we'll take the double click on that, just make it a light color. So for the icons, open up the project files and the first one here I created on layer one is what we want. You just hit Control A and Control C to copy. Let's get out our grid and Control V to paste. And we're going to put it near the center vertically in this first grid or column rather. And I'll just call this files. And we'll do the same thing over here. Copy that. And this one will go on the fifth. Each one of these is going to span basically four columns. All right. We want these to be kind of all centered up. If I take uh, this here. All right, that looks good. Alright, and then what I want to do is take the type tool, drag out the width of three columns, and we'll type in upload any type of file anytime you wish. And then duplicate that. Let's drop it down just a little bit. Move this over. Here, we'll change this one to, you get one TB, as in terabyte, free for a year, and then it's only two per month. And then right click and duplicate that one final time here. And we'll, this one will say, control when and where your files are backed up. All right, so I uh, zoom up 100% here. You can see it looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and zoom out. I think we could decrease this uh, height a little bit. So hitting Control and left clicking will automatically select the layer so you don't have to uh, click that little checkbox up there. And then what I want to do is take auto select layer and select all of those and then go ahead and deselect those two layers. We don't want this and we don't want the grid layer as well. Then once we have them, oops, deselect that one as well. Then just move them up into vertical position with the arrow keys. All right, so we got that far. Uh, now all we have to do is just put in like two testimonials right here. So now what we want to do is get up these two pictures right here and we'll go ahead and show the grid and we want the ellipse tool so we'll just, I'm gonna hold shift and alt and basically the size of one of these 
and then let me get rid of the grid or hide it rather and control shift N and then make sure this is checked for creating a clipping mask and then control V that now I just take the magic wand just so I can see where it got pasted into and then it's oops deselect auto select layer let me get back over here damn it all right now we got it now I can scale it down hit control T shift and alt right there all right simple enough and then one final time we'll go ahead I'm just gonna take this layer right there right click duplicate that get the grid out pull this down and then with the type tool selecting oops select in there and we're gonna drag this out to the width of five columns and I wish I had this text already prepared. You could just use lorem ipsum if you wanted to, but I'm just going to type most file storage services just store your files, but paper clip takes it a step further and organizes them as well. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to put in Gary Simon of designcourse.com so now let's hide that grid and I think that looks pretty decent we want to make this top text I'm gonna make this all black all right and I want to make the font actually I do want to make the font size just a little bit bigger it's like 20 all right, now that's better, and we can also move this up just slightly, like right around there. And then uh, I'm gonna zoom out here, and then we're just going to duplicate everything right here. And where's that? That text is right there. And then we will just duplicate this, get the grid out, right click, duplicate layers deselect auto select layers and then put that right there and we can just take her real quick and do the same thing uh, select control a just to select all and delete and then control V to paste in we'll see where she was paste she's all the way down there that's probably not a picture you would use for a testimonial but it was one I found on Facebook of my wife so that'll have to do and you know what? I'm not making a mess with the text. We get the point. So uh, let's see. Everything lines up here. All right. So basically, that is it. If you wanted to like show this, we could take the square marquee tool and copy merged. And that would be, in my opinion, an effective squeeze page. There's a lot of white space, provides information, it's minimalist, um, a single call to action, and that's what makes a good squeeze page. All right, so uh, tomorrow, I believe we are going to focus on creating um, a mobile GUI graphic user interface kit. So that will be exciting. All right, so uh, I will see you then.